Hi, Wendy here. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make up these tattered flowers. Now I cut three sets out, although I'm not using the full sets, from the Tim Holtz Sizzix uh, Tattered Florals die and for the leaves I'm using the Sizzix Tim Holtz Tattered Poinsettia die. I'm also using a Distress Ink in Gathered Twigs, a Soft Mat and a Bowl Tool. Now the first thing I do is I curl all my petals backwards. I use a quickie glue pen, a uh, round pencil will do the job. And for the fatter uh, flowers, I cut down each petal towards the centre uh, about one centimetre. And this will help the flower to curl better. I've also inked all the outer edges of the each petal and the leaves. The next thing I do is I pinch each petal upwards, so pattern to pattern. You don't have to be particular about this, it just gets a nice look to it. Here's a closer view of that. The next thing I do is I apply PVA glue to the edges of the flower and dip it into the crystal ice. So here I, am, I applied the glue to the edges, pop it into the crystal ice and leave it to dry. And here they all are, waiting to dry. Next thing I do is I get them in groups of how I want them to be. So the one on the left is the large flower, one in the middle is the medium, and the two at the top right are the small flower. I use Pinfleur glue gel and a couple of cocktail sticks. I stack them, I, I put a bit of gel on the back of the ones that are going on top of each other, uh, just a little bit of glue to hold it in place, but I offset each each uh, layer to make the flower fuller. And here's a close-up of that. Um, at the top you'll see three bowls of um, natural accents from Anna Marie Designs and some stamens. Um, I pierce a hole with my pokey tool through each flower, quite a, a good size hole because you have to get those stamens through and I'm using a piece of wire to help me do that. And what I do is I get the amount of stamens that I want and I fold them in half and I thread the wire over the centre bit to slip it through that hole much easier as you can see here. Flip it over and cut off the strings apply a blob of silicone gel and then I apply the natural accents and then I put a blob of silicone gel on the right side of each of the leaves and pop that onto the back as well and this is what it looks like and here's all three waiting to dry I hope you found this use useful and I'll see you again soon bye